channel. So today I have a very special guest, Hi. Shay Mitchell. <laughs> Girl, you look so cute. Yes. Thank you. Thanks to you. Thanks to you. Thank you. So today we did a beautiful fall makeup inspired look. You can wear it to any event. If you want to be meant for school, do it. For where? Grocery up the store. Kids. Grocery store. Picking up your boyfriend or meeting the parents. Eating turkey, carving turkey, anything. Everything. Definitely, this look is so easy and it's glamorous. And what better campus than Miss Shank Mitchell House Fail? You Thank know what I'm you. saying? Thank you. So, on her channel, we did a last minute Halloween makeup look. Definitely check it out. Subscribe to her channel. And without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. Oh my gosh, Shay Mitchell is goals. Like literally, look how beautiful she is. Like unreal, unreal. I had to pinch her, like just to make sure she was real. And for foundation, I'm gonna take the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. This is beautiful, and they're so versatile. You can use them any which way for concealer, for contour, for highlight, and that's what I'm doing right here for you guys, just to show you the versatility of this product. And to blend it out, I'm gonna blend it out using my Booty Blender. Oh my god, this is like the best thing ever to happen since white rice. Oh my god, like she's gorgeous. And what I'm gonna do for concealer is I'm going to take the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and use, I believe this is either Macadamia or Ginger, one of them. But I'm gonna brighten it up using the Urban Decay Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in the shade Medium. And see, since I use two concealers, I can blend it out with the booty blender, twerk it all over the face, and it'll absorb it because it's an amazing sponge. And that's what sponges do is soak product up. But what I'm gonna do is just set her face using the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the color Fair. And I didn't beat her face, as you can see, because she deserved just a light dusting with a brush. But for the eyeshadow, I forgot to include the clip of the palette, but I was so excited. The palette I'm using today is the Urban Decay uh, Naked 3 palette. I love this palette because it has beautiful plum tones, cool tones, and I thought I would show you guys a beautiful cool tone look because for fall and winter a lot of people use warms i love warms don't get me wrong but i thought it'd be fun to show a cool tone eye on someone so beautiful with a pop of shimmer this look literally has everything it's sultry it's it has smoke it has shimmer you can literally wear this look to any event because those are like such elements you have you need for any event this holiday season smoke shimmer and sultry so i'm dusting off the excess powder and i applied a shimmery rose uh rose gold tone on her lid and next moving on to lashes to create that fuller lash effect i'm going to take the urban decay 24 hour glide um pencil this is waterproof this is smudge proof and it's in the color zero it's their blackest black and i'm just going to run that through the lash line and i'm going to smudge it using this gray again a cool tone not a black tone because i wanted this black pencil to fade out into a smoky gray that is not a ghost in the background, by the way. Anyways, I'm going to take this and just smudge it in the lash line to create a sultry, smoky effect. And I'm taking that with the brush. And as I am doing this, I want to explain to you, this will allow for your lashes to look a lot thicker. Uh, so with that being said, I lined it underneath her lash line to give her a very thick looking lash speaking of lashes y'all you know the drill we gotta curl this up to jesus yes god this is the roller lash mascara i love this mascara i love the mark jacobs velvet noir mascara also the mac extended play mascara but this has to be one of my favorites those are just other few in case you guys were wondering um but this should be the top of the eye look for now. And I'm taking her lash curler and curling her lashes up to Jesus. And this is like a very important step. Oh, so for lashes, I took the lashes in the style, I believe, Miami. And used this on her lash line. And yes, I smoked out some of her underneath her eye. And I'm dusting under the eye the Charlotte Tilbury Finishing Powder. 
And next, I'm taking the Tarte Blush Book. This Blush Book 2 is amazing because this look is going to... The blush look is going to tie the cool eyes to the dark red vampy lip. And it's just going to bring the look together. And that's what's so great about using a blush book is because it has a little bit of everything. You know, we need a little bit of everything. Now, for the highlight, I'm taking Gold Deposit and Rodeo Drive. And I'm giving her a highlighter cheekbone, highlighted cheekbone. And I'm taking the Beauty Blender and the residue of the foundation from earlier and just pushing it into the face. That way, the highlighter is coming through like that light layer of foundation. She's stunning. Like, look at her. Now, for the lips, I'm going to take this pencil by Tarte. And it's a beautiful wine-colored pencil. And I'm just going to line her lips like so. And this pencil is awesome because it's pigmented and it's retractable. And I love it. And I'm going to fill in her lips using that same pencil. And then I'm going to take, I believe, a dark liquid lipstick. I will list it down below, but this is very similar to Max Dark Side, but in a liquid lipstick form. And I'm going to use that with a precision lip brush. And that should complete the look for the lips. Now moving to under the eyes, I'm taking the Precisely Brow Pencil in the shade number 4. And coating her brows and shaping them. And then last but not least, I'm going to take the Goof not goof proof it's just the the brow set and i'm gonna coat her brows so they stay all day and last but not least to finish the look i'm taking the skindinavia setting spray to set it all and that's the look all right everyone this is the finish look i hope you guys like it do you like it honey i love it so love it so gorgeous this look has a red lip a slightly smoky eye it's so wearable to any event like i said Definitely check out her channel, subscribe to her channel. We did some fun last minute Halloween makeup looks. It was so much fun. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!